World War III fears have increased in recent weeks after Donald Trump threatened to scrap the terrible Iran nuclear deal, offering Europe until May 12 to make necessary amendments to the deal. But retired U.S. Army Colonel Doug McGregor warned Israel and Saudi Arabia will do whatever it can to persuade Donald Trump to abandon the Iran nuclear deal, which he said could lead to a major war. Mr. McGregor said there are no benefits for the United States with going to war with Iran. The Army Colonel warned the United States allies Israel and Saudi Arabia want to see Iran as a smoking ruin. Getty Fox News World War III Doug McGregor said there could be a major war if the Iran deal is demolished. This joint comprehensive plan of action is the last obstacle on the road to war. Doug McGregor, he told Fox News, whatever they can do to persuade us to abandon this joint comprehensive plan of action, they will do in the hopes that that then will clear away the obstacle to direct military confrontation. The 2015 Iran nuclear deal, formerly known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, was signed in 2015 between Iran and the US, UK, Russia, France, China, and Germany. Mr. McGregor said, the bottom line is, they want us to effectively reverse the strategic outcomes of the last 15 to 16 years. That's not possible, frankly, without a major war, and I don't think that President Trump is interested remotely under any circumstances in going to war. But this joint comprehensive plan of action is the last obstacle on the road to war. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu caused a global outcry on Monday after revealing what he claimed were Iranian files containing plans to build nukes. He said the copies proved Iran had lied about developing the deadly weapons before the 2015 deal that it signed with the U.S. and world powers. In response, Iranian Defense Minister Amir Hitami said, We warned the Zionist regime and its allies to stop their plots and dangerous behaviors or they will face Iran's surprising and firm response. It comes as President Trump continues to contemplate whether the U.S. should quit its nuclear deal with the Islamic Republic. The U.S. president has criticized the agreement which he sees as seriously flawed, despite European powers saying it is vital to reducing concerns that Iran could one day develop nuclear bombs.